Thursday marked exactly one year since the failed Hanoi summit between the leaders of North Korea and the United States. Over the past year, the mood for dialogue has increasingly soured, and the two sides are on the brink of going back to the far and furry days of 2017, let alone making any progress in the talks. The Hanoi summit was the second Kim Trump meeting following their first one in Singapore in June 2018, and it took place amid high expectations that something substantial will be agreed between the two sides on North Korea's denuclearization as well as economic rewards or sanctions relief from the U.S. But it ended without any deal, with Washington asking the North to do more to completely abandon its nuclear program, while Pyongyang insisting all U.S. sanctions be lifted on its country. Their visions, as Trump puts it, on denuclearization were clearly different. Many have pointed to a problematic pattern of their meeting that stems from the two leaders' top-down, summit-driven approach as a key factor that caused the collapse of the second North Korea-U.S. summit. Greatly embarrassed by the Hanoi breakdown, Kim later said he would give the U.S. until the end of the year to return to the negotiating table with a new calculation. But the Trump administration didn't budge, despite renewed threats by Pyongyang this year that it would unveil a new strategic weapon and carry out a shocking actual action against the U.S. There hasn't been any unusual military movements detected in the north. Analysts suggest that North Korea is probably too busy preventing a full-blown coronavirus outbreak in the country right now. Plus, with the 2020 campaign season underway in the U.S., both provocations and negotiations have come to a standstill. The promotions of Trump's key North Korean negotiators to other State Department posts could also mean that the U.S. president is losing interest in his efforts on the North. Diplomatic sources here in Seoul say that Washington is ready to accept any proposal for talks by Pyongyang. But the question is, will North Korea be willing to sit down for talks ahead of a presidential election in the United States? Experts say it's highly unlikely because looking at precedents, the North had rarely responded to calls for dialogue during any American president's final year in the office. So the chances of North Korea trying to take the initiative will be even slimmer. Nevertheless, South Korea, in the meantime, will likely continue its push to create another momentum for dialogue with the North, regardless of the cold shoulder that regime has been giving since the Hanoi summit. Seoul is expected to use the upcoming Tokyo Olympics as an opportunity to create the momentum, as it did during the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics two years ago. They appear to believe summer will be the perfect timing, as by then they'll get a clear picture of the most plausible scenario that could play out in the 2020 U.S. presidential election. And with this year marking the 20th anniversary of the June 15 joint declaration between the two Koreas.